Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, it's been long time we have created a video related to MongoDB. So if you see my MongoDB playlist, the last video was related to how can you create your MongoDB cloud cluster and how can you use it or else connect that particular cluster or instance to your local account or else to your local compass. So that was my last video. So from today onwards, we'll be using a program that is nothing but Python. We'll be taking Python and we'll be implementing or else we'll be using Python and with the help of Python, we are going to perform operations in your MongoDB Cloud Atlas account. I'm talking about the cloud. This time we are not going to do anything locally. So if your laptop configuration is not that high also, it doesn't matter. We'll be doing everything on the cloud. So guys, now let's not waste our time. Let's dive into our today's topic and discuss more about that. Before that, if you have not subscribed the channel, do subscribe the channel and on the bell notification. And also, if you have any doubts related to this particular code, whatever I'm explaining, or if you have any doubts related to career guidance related to data science or else data analysis, how you have to do or else how, what are the programming languages you require to learn and the key skills. So if you want to know about that, just comment below this particular video or else to any video whichever you are watching. So based on your comments in the upcoming videos, I will definitely answer the question so that it is not going to help only you but also to the others who might be having the same doubt. So now let's not waste our time. Let's dive into the computer screen and discuss more about it. So guys, you can see I'm using Google Collab Notebook for this particular video. You can even see the name of the collab notebook. This particular collab notebook link will be in this video description. Anyone can check it and run it and even they can use it. So for this particular video, right, the main agenda will be that we'll be creating a MongoDB account and we'll be creating a MongoDB instance for free or else a cloud storage for free. And we'll be using that and we'll be connecting that to our Google collab in which the Python is internally working, right? So we'll be connecting it with Python. So this will be the main task of this particular video. Now let's start. So the there will be only two things required for this particular video. One is your Google Collab Notebook or your Jupyter Notebook or else your VS Code, anything of your choice. There is no problem. Then a MongoDB account. So for this, search for MongoDB and open this. Click on sign in. If you don't have account, you have to create the account, right? So even I don't have the account. So let me create the account. Continue with Google. So let me use my YouTube connected mail ID only. So it's getting created. I accept the privacy policies. Okay, submit. So now successfully your MongoDB account is created just in one click. It is not going to take that much time. Welcome. Use your MongoDB account to deploy cloud storage. Yeah. Okay. Getting to know you. So what is the primary goal to learn MongoDB and how long have you been developing softwares in MongoDB? So it's your choice. You can give anything randomly. Getting to know about the projects are mainly we will be using Python, right? So give Python. So it will be related to just give other or else give anything. It's not an issue. AI ML. Okay. Finish. So guys, you should get to know about MongoDB. How can you connect it to Python? Because Mainly, see, you can see here. Let me continue this first. I'll tell you why you require it. So click on this M0 for free, which is there. You will get 512 MB storage of free and the cluster. We can create it. Click on create it. And now you can choose a username of your choice and password. So I'll just give it here. Tech, it's enough. And password, I'll just give it as so this particular account, right? I'll just terminate it after this particular video. No one are allowed to use this particular account. Remember that. So one, two, three or anything. I'll just change the password or else after this particular video and then select the cloud environment. And after this, you will get the IP access list, right? So in this, you can add the IP of your choice or else anything of your choice. Then 
create the user here you have to create the user this user is created now click on finish and close you can see here congratulations this is done so your cluster is created this is your mongodb cluster so i was telling you all right like why you require a uh, mongodb normally when it comes to data science right or else uh, when you are dealing with the data that huge data will be available in your mongodb you have to pull it and you have to use it so if you want to access that you require python right machine learning uh, operations and even deep learning operations whatever you will be performing you will be performing with python right so for that you have to definitely connect to that particular cloud storage and you have to pull it right so for that you should know how to connect this particular mongodb with your python first right so we'll be seeing how we can connect that click on connect now when you click on connect here you will get option mongodb for vs code we can click this it's not an issue or else go back here you will get an option for drivers yeah drivers go to drivers and in this select here python and version let it to be 3.12 it's not an issue so for this what we will be doing now we will be giving this right a full code so if you give here view the page full code if you give it you will get it directly or else you will get here only the url which you can even use it later so it's not an issue uh, this will be the url so now mongodb account is created and we got the url also our next task will be will, go, will be going to our google collab notebook or else uh, jupyter notebook now here the operation we need to do is we have to install a library called pymongo pip install pymongo so now just run this now it will start to install pymongo if it's already installed it will show you that the requirements is satisfied you can see here it is installing now so guys you can see here the pymongo has been installed successfully now what we'll be doing we'll be importing this from import mongo client so this is done so we will be importing it once this is done right client is equals to so in our client what we will be doing we will be taking mongo client and inside this we will be pasting the url of this particular database so which we have created click on connect drivers python so let us just copy this and let's go here and let's paste it here and now here if you see the password whatever it is there right you have to change that and including that arrow mark you have to remove only the colon so after the colon what you have to do one two three four five i'm just giving my password i'll be changing the password after this video don't worry now this is done so if you run this it will be created now what we'll be doing we'll be using db is equals to client db is equals to client we'll be give it giving the database name as just db db will be the database name it's enough we don't need to give anything that much fancy also or else we can just give it as db1 so this will be our database one and we need to create a collection also so for that what we'll be doing collection is equals to db so we'll be randomly inserting any data for example youtube will be my collection name this is just an example guys so normally what happens if there is a no database name with this particular name right in this particular uh, cluster there is no database okay it's an empty cluster right now so when we run this line this particular database will be created 
and this particular collection also will be created if any of this is not there in that it will be created if any of this is already available it will automatically get connected to that one it is not going to throw any error okay you got it guys so now we have even created the cluster let us take any sample document name document is equals to we will be inserting the data right see i already told you all in the previous video also this mongodb right it will stores data in json format so whatever program code you will be executing if you are going to insert any data it should be in json format if it is in csv format also it will be converted to json or else you have to convert it name let us give as so this will be my first collection name and after this what i will be giving city let us give randomly anything okay this is done so we have created a collection right now what we'll be doing we'll be inserting this inserted document let us take insert insert document is equals to we'll be creating a variable and inside this collection dot insert should show yeah. insert one collection and that collection will be nothing but document So this particular document, whatever we have created here, right? We'll be inserting that into MongoDB using insert one method. What is insert when, what is insert many, everything we'll be discussing in the upcoming videos. And if you have watched my previous videos related to the local uh, database, right? Which we are working on uh, Mongo shell, same methods only, it is not going to change. So this is done, right? Now what we'll be doing, inserting the document is done. And now we'll just print the message that it is inserted successfully or not. Print string that inserted document and ID is equals to ID of that particular document is nothing but insert doc dot inserted id i want the inserted id whether it's not inserted or it's inserted i should get to know right so for that again uh, let us close it now client dot close so once it is done we have to close the connection right so we'll be now running this we'll see now it's getting done let us wait and watch what it's going on So the connection whichever it is there we have created that so and finally once everything the execution is done we are closing the connection also that's all nothing else here it's not going to be more complex it's taking more time failed what was the issue So guys, actually I was checking like why I was getting this particular error. So then I got to know that there was an issue with the IP address. Normally what happens when you are going to connect, right? You can connect it locally, but your Google Collab is cloud, right? So you can see here it is using only my IP address. So I'll just give it, I'll just delete that IP address. I'll click on add IP address and I'll give it like allow access from anywhere. When I give this, you can see this will be the IP address or else access list entry so that you can access it from anywhere. Okay. And I'll just confirm it. When you click on this, it will automatically enable that. So whenever you are using the databases next time, 
you can use it like allow access anywhere to get this right just when you are creating the cluster right i have deleted that particular cluster which i have created on the video because i forgot to add this one click on cloud and here you will get the option right to click on uh, when you click on this cloud and when you click on this IP address, right, you will get an option to add your IP address or else change the IP address in the network access. You will get something called here as network access using which you can access it out or else you can directly search uh, check here for network access. This is the network access. When you click on this network access, you will immediately go to this particular option where click on add IP, click on allow anyone to access and click on confirm. So this is getting created now. So now this is active now. So by now if you run this, I guess you will be able to easily connect right now. Not I guess, definitely now we will be able to connect it out. So let me just click on connect. Click on drivers, Python 3.2 or later and let me close this. Let me take this normal URL itself and now in my code, I'll again update this particular URL. When it comes to password, right, when I was creating the new cluster, I have even changed the password also. Same method, right, zero. Now let us run this and see. I hope this should work right now. Yeah, you can see here, it's working right now. If you see here, inserted document, this is the document unique ID. Let us go to our database and check it out. Click on browse collections now. You can see here my database. I have even changed the database name also and my collection. I have created this both and you can see here whatever data I was having here. It has been reflected here. Now if you want, I'll change it to just SK. Change the city name to. And let me just run this. You can see here it has been inserted successfully and now if I just refresh the document here itself. You can see a two collections. And for each collection right there is an unique object ID. You can see this particular object ID here only you can track it out. So using this particular object ID only you can track any document whenever you require with the help of the object ID. You don't need to search for that particular document every time. So you understood till here guys. So that's all for today's video. Just understand how to create the database and how to configure it. You will be getting the issues like how I got. So just go to network access page here and enable this add IP address and you should make sure that there was something here called allow from any way to access. You have to enable that. If you don't enable that, it will not be allowed. And even you can see here, you can even create an IP address or else add an IP address and give it a limited time like for six hours or seven hours after that, that particular IP address will be removed automatically. This is a great feature from MongoDB. So next we will be discussing how can we add the data into MongoDB, how can we read the data and how to perform aggregation and CRUD operations and everything. So guys, that's all for today's video. Do like, share and subscribe. Thank you all.